Oh, I am rich as rich can be, for all these things are mine. For all these things are mine. I, I think in terms of things disappearing in the world, rather like my memories are disappearing. As if, you know, uh, like in Kew Gardens, you have glass, glass houses with plants in them. And I feel that there is going to come to a stage where so many of the forests in the world disappear that all we're going to have left are forests inside glass boxes. And the same with animals in the zoo. I think that in the end, the only animals left will be the ones in the zoo. So I'm trying to hang on to something. I'm trying to hang on to my memories. The lark that carols in the sky, the fleecy clouds are sailing by. Oh, I am rich as rich can be, for all these things belong to me. Oh, I am rich as rich can be, for all these things are mine. I think probably the most important thing about this glass piece is that while I was making it and before I made it, I didn't realise that I had been a premature baby and I'd been placed into an incubator. And I found out after I'd made it and I realised that this was what it was about and it was telling me through the materials that it was about my experience of glass and of seeing the world through this uh, separation and also about my separation from my mother and about my feelings of being in my mother's womb which I also, because of my being away from her uh, I felt that she was a very cold mother so it was a cold kind of womb it's, it's a lot of other things for me and I hope that it's other things to other people but I also see it as a kind of Sleeping Beauty palace where the unborn potential of the feminine, according to Jung, is waiting. And it's also about balance, my balance, my mother's balance, because she's mentally very unstable.